Welcome, everybody, to another fine edition of the Full Community Podcast. I am LA Icon, and behind those cameras, we have the main fool, Rich Homie Juan. What's up? And to my right, your left, we have Jay Valentino up? and the incomparable Concrete. Me, 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 me. Damn, Damn son, here. where'd you find this? So, how'd you guys like parking? Mm. Uh, I brought a shank mm. on purpose. I never have ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I even, told oh, him. I, I called know. them. I actually called them when I parked. I called him. Here's the thing. I wouldn't even use it. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah. He, uh, I called him and I said, look, fool, don't bring no valuables. And if you do, like, just How do you bring it on your person. You, oh, so don't cut yourself. You don't cut yourself on. You know how to use that? No. <laughs> no, he probably stab himself. Tomorrow we'll work on colors. He'll cheddar bob himself, dog. Yeah, and it, yeah but it's. Um, cheddar bob, it's just possible. <laughs> <laughs> it took about eight miles, eight yeah. minutes. <laughs> now I know why you wanted to do this during the day. Yeah. Try to tell you. Well, you didn't. You, sh- you should have said the reasoning behind yeah. it. I was on schedule at six thirty. I wasn't. I was running late, and then. Oh, like, so this was him. It was me. It was typical a diva. Sh- it was a yeah. team effort. Team effort. Yeah, I figured I was gonna be stuck in traffic either way, so I was like, might as well just leave when I'm not stuck in traffic. Fool. Like, I this called fool, this like, fool. You, you were trying to have me come to downtown. Fool, l- listen to yourself. You said fool at five in downtown. Who, who do you think you are? You know exactly who I think I am. Who do you th- fool? No, dog. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. That's nuts. Even in Downey, it's crazy, bro. Five p.m. This fool's like come at five p.m. Fool, what the f- in the middle of like traffic. You agreed to it initially. Yeah, I did because I wasn't thinking right. I was like, I was, I think I was on my way to the show. I only traveled like two miles in two hours right in that time. Yeah, you're crazy, dog. That's valid. I've been here since 2 p.m., so I don't know. What are you doing? Interviews. They're going to think I'm a bum with no clothes because I didn't change none of my outfits. I just sat here for all these That's fine. It's black and white. Just rendered a different color if we throw it on After Effects and just. (laughs) 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 Just. Render the shorts a different color, yeah, dog. Green screen. Easy. Dog. Too easy. So you fools just be hanging out all the time, or is it just for work? No, we hang. What? Well, mm, well I, we, we started hanging out, but then it's like we see each other so much that it's like at, at one point, it's like we just want to go home. Yeah, we need a break. Not from each other, because I kind of miss Emotionally, it. I think it's, it's, you know. But yeah, fool. Like once we like once we do our shows, well, we talk we, on the phone almost every day, though. Yeah, sure. just bit you know business. No, we talk. No. Shit. talk. We, talk shit. we talk about like this page and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have we posted Jay Valentino? Anything of Jay Valentino? Damn, we haven't. Truthfully, that I recall, no. Wow, well, I know that you didn't mm. have to say it. I saw it in your face. <laughs> Realistically speaking, I think we need to find some scandalous shit posted of this one. Yeah. You have any controversy you're going through? Uh, yeah, me and Becky G got caught at a restaurant making out. Yeah. I think that really is that true? I don't want to kiss and tell, but of course <laughs> it isn't. Well, hey, for you know, truth, you know, it makes you feel better. The only time they posted me was like two weeks ago, for and there was one the Tupac star. It was oh. a good, it was a good post. You bro. guys took the most controversial <laughs> I had ever said, and I knew it, fool, because I posted at 11 p.m. and I was like, watch. I posted on purpose, fool. <laughs> and I posted. You knew like, it was gonna get picked up. Oh yeah, fool! I was like, this is wild. What I'm about to say, dog. What'd you say again? I remember. I loosely remember. <laughs> it was about to, uh, who laid, who who laid and worked on the Tupac star. Oh yeah, and then it wouldn't be posted, L.A. without. Yeah. And then, uh, sure enough, fool, you guys picked it up 24 hours later, and uh, yeah, fool, people were a little upset. <laughs> Why? It's the truth. I don't know if it was a truth, dog. I mean, oh, oh. I mean, I can't see Caucasians or anybody else doing that. Yeah, but you know, look. Well, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, which was my camera? Yeah. Which was my camera? Which was my camera? They're all your cameras, me. Yeah, you have like okay. six cameras, but we get it. You got let me, money, let bro. Let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. Fool. If you fools want to get on the food community, say some outlandish. Say the craziest shit you can think of, and I guarantee you, you'll land a spot. The homie rich homie Quan. Juan. Oh, Juan. Juan. <laughs> He's going to get you on. He's going to get you on, perritos. He's going to get you on. He did that to you on purpose, brother. Just say, yeah, no, but thank you, fool. <laughs> I got like 
17 followers, fool. Yeah, at least <laughs> one time you'll be. <clears throat> yeah. But shout out to you guys, fool. You gave me a little shout out right there. That was dope. Yeah, man. Did they say any mean things to you? Did they what? Say any mean things to you? Yeah, fool. Check the comments, fool. They're wild. <laughs> <laughs> they, people are like, what people, did they say? I don't know if we that an idiot or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like some fool was like, I was a no sabo kid. I was like, what? That's Your insane. Spanish is great. That's crazy. Your dog. Spanish what? is great. You know, dog, but it's they clearly don't know. It was it was meant to ruffle some feathers, dog. So I know what it is when I know what time it is. But you well, know, let's start from the very beginning for Jay, since people might not know who he is. Nobody knows who actually Jay is, dog. Nobody knows Thanks. him, dog. No, nah, realistically speaking, Jay, where did, you, where did you start? Where did you start getting into this entertainment game? I was a DJ before anything. I was a DJ before anything. Strip club game. But professionally DJing at age 27, about 13 years ago. And uh, this content creating thing at 33, like eight years ago. What station did you begin DJing at, my friend? I never DJed at any station. Everybody thinks that I DJ at a station, though. All my buddies are at Power and Real 92.3. I have had slots at Real 92.3, but I've never been a radio DJ. Everybody thinks so. I thought so, too. Yeah, every, it sounds like a like radio DJ name, right? Jay Valentino, the little Cochino. 92.3, the beat. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so it sounds like that. When did you decide you wanted to be a DJ? When I was 15 and my brother brought some turntables home and uh, just fuck, picked it up, bro, and couldn't stop. He bought them just for a hobby, too. He's he was a contractor, construction dude. Would you say you've gotten a lot of before being a DJ? Uh, I for that. So it was never a problem. But, yeah, of course, that, I guess, amped it up when I was a kid. It was, I guess, cool at the time. And you, my friend, how did you enter the <laughs> entertainment industry? DJing, too, fool. <laughs> That's vicious cap. What he actually mean? could still spin. What? what? We were at a, uh, I had my shit set up at, well, Jimmy Emilia has a setup where well, he has yeah. everything. And he <laughs> called us for a meeting and I think he ghosted us at his own meeting he for ghosted. like an hour. Dog. We were just sitting there. And uh, I had my laptop on me. He's like, hey, let me spin a little. I was like, all right. He th I threw, I gave him my laptop and he, he was on beat, on point. I started DJing, fool. And then I started producing at 17 and then got my first record on the radio when I was 21. Tell him that you used to rap, fool, because you just. I used to rap. What was your rap name? Beretta. Beretta. I mean, I know that, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> do you think I could still, like, do a hot record right now? No. You just what? did one. You're you a f***ing hater, dog. You just couldn't do one. a hot You're record a... back then. Have you heard yes, the Taco Soup video? Have you heard the Taco Soup video? I had more Super records on the radio than you ever did. Oh, How mm. many did you have? One or two? Yeah. I had two records on the radio. How yeah. many did you have? None. One. Oh, okay. shit. Where's that fire extinguisher? People weren't even playing his at his own crib, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's Remember, you asked me for a feature, fool. Never. <laughs> yeah, you did, yeah. dog. You turned him. You ghosted him. I turned him down, dog. I shot this fool's first photo shoot. Jay, don't listen to this fool. Uh, I would have too. <laughs> nah, but like me and him met when I used to. I, I was ghostwriting for him. Of course and, uh, you were. Of course you I were. I wasn't fool. You were. I wasn't. You were. And I was giving uh, you. Isn't like, that something like a ghostwriter is not supposed to say? <laughs> So I used to ghostwrite for this fool, right, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I gave him all the non-bangers. <laughs> <laughs> your throwaways? Your throwaways? I gave him all the throwaways, dog. <laughs> That's why he never made it, fool. <laughs> <laughs> ABC runs. the worst thing you could say. He gave you his doctor <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> That was intense. I gave you all the non bangers. <laughs> I gave you all the non bangers. <laughs> he got mustard's throwaway beats. Yeah. Damn. He got ketchup it's beats. It's only three fool. keys. <laughs> that, fool, that fool got fucking salsa. That fool got salsa beats. It's only three keys. DJ Salsa. Oh, shit. Tell the Nipsey story as briefly as possible. <laughs> uh, so it was 2000. That was and great. 2008. <laughs> the whole story, like, you just cut, cut to the chase. Okay, so. Uh, I had a record called Industry Beefs that was, you know, taking off in the hood. And then uh, I got called by Sean and Lewis and Steve LaBelle. And then so, uh, you know, we had a meeting with Steve and uh, Sean and Lewis. I, I, went, I, you know, I went to Steve's house. And if you guys don't know who Steve is, if you guys are watching, but, you know, Steve LaBelle, he's managed some Run of the DMC, greatest. Beastie Boys. Some of the greatest artists that ever lived in, in, in the hip-hop world. And What's the name of the dispensary in the Valley right now? Lemonade? Yeah, Lemonade. I think so. Sorry if I got it wrong, Steve. Yeah, yeah. It's on, uh, like, I think it's on Shermer Way or Victor or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
And then so I, I went to his crib and, you know, he was like, yo, I like your record. I'm feeling this I'm thinking about managing you. You know, we're going to sign you type of shit. And then he was like, yo, let's go to the car. I want you to listen to this record. He's like, I'm thinking about signing this artist. I said, all right, bet. So we go we go to his car and he breaks out this like, you know, like this house made CD with the cover and shit, you know. And uh, he, he's, he's banging this record and the record was called Bulletin Got No Names. And I think that was one of Nipsey's first like street hit records, right? Facts. And uh, he was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm thinking about signing him." And I didn't, I didn't know who he was. I was just like, "Yo, that the, re the record sounds dope." And I didn't really care. I was like, "Yeah, he's cool, man." But like, what about me? <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, and you know, he 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 wanted my opinion on the record. I gave him my opinion. I was like, "It's a dope ass record." And he kind of he correlated my record to his, you know, to to his record a little bit because they were kind of similar in a way, you know. We were both talking about industry beefs and how, you know, uh, you know, like just, you know, the street aspect of shit, right? And then, um, yeah, man, next thing you know, I'm signed and I started going to like, you know, a bunch of Nipsey shows like early on, man. So I, I saw him perform when it was just like, it was just his hood showing up to the shows at that point and supporting him. He had a big support system for early on, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, you know, my, you know, my boy passed away in 2008, my boy Full Clip, shout out to Full Clip, Papa. And... You know, I, I, I decided to just kind of leave the music industry and Nipsey kept going and, you know, I went to the video world, he kept going with his music and, you know, that's kind of... Quick little kinda added, um, Small World, uh, my brother that, I, that bought the turntables, we used to supply the camera, the cameras for Nipsey's videos. He used to uh, supply Sergio. Sick. That's sick. And he was uh, also with his immediate family at the, at the funeral. He called them a uh, boss. Crazy. Yeah, that was his nickname. It's pretty world. sick. So let me ask you something. Do mm -hmm. you think you rapped better than Nipsey Hussle? <laughs> <laughs> These guys really poke the bear, don't nah, they? I mean, I don't know if I, I, I don't think it's better as, as much as it is we had different styles, you know? <laughs> you know who I was compared to. Answer the f question, G. <laughs> when you were younger. Wait, who were you compared to? Wait a second. When the you game. were, when you mm. were, yeah, <laughs> that's dirty. When you were younger and uh, in that situation, did you think you were better than Nipsey Hussle when you heard that song, Bullets Ain't Got No Name? Just say the truth. Mm, nah. Capper. Nah, because nah, cause he was more polished. He was more polished than I did. And I was still trying to find cadence, like, you know, my cadence. I was trying to find my voice still. Um, no, did I, did I think I was better than him? No, did I think I, I, I could be better than him? Yeah, I think, you know, you, as a rapper, dog, you get that. It's always a competitive spirit with this rap shit. We all know, dog. You know what I'm saying? We're all trying to top each other as rappers, right? I'm not a rapper no more, but... If I was to be a rapper next week, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there in the booth like I'm the best rapper that ever lived. I think that's the only way to move. <laughs> no, you know, nah, but <laughs> no, no, no. But let me tell you this. I'm just I around. think, uh, I think I did have, I did have, I, I think I was first on the radio, maybe, perhaps. Facts or facts, though. I think I don't facts know. Or facts. I, I don't know, but you know, again, man. I mean, I dude, I had a lot of help, man. I mean, it wasn't just me, bro. It was Steve LaBelle. It was the whole team, bro. You know, so. They, you know, I, I, I cut a record with Cush and Cato and Steve heard it and, and Sean and them. And they were like, yo, this is fire. And they took it up to Felly and then Felly played it at New at two. And I was, I think I was like 21, dog. Not sure. that, that, you know, it was kind of one it of those. It was a big thing for sure. It was a big thing because at the time, you know, it wasn't like. Radio was popping. It was kind of like your record going viral in a way, you know, like you got on the radio. That's the radio, fool. You I know? mean, it's not as respected right. as it is. Back I, then, I, I still think it is. I still think it no, is. Oh, yeah, it'll be hella yeah. prestigious to be on the radio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not, you know, I mean, they're still not putting just anybody on the radio. So, <laughs> I mean, something. And, Jay, what kind of cool ass industry story do you have for us today, sir? Oh, tell him your, uh, tell him your Mayweather story. That's perfect. Cool. Oh, that's pretty good. No, tell him your Mayweather story. Thank you. He has for, a great thank memory. You. He has a great memory. Okay. Oh, I never said this one. Full community exclusive. First time bow, 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 bow. Floyd Mayweather ever goes to Sam's Hopper in Los Angeles. Shout out to Sam's. I still have a lot of love for them. That's right. I, uh, I, he walked in. I went up to him and the girl that he was talking to. Mind you, this girl made Floyd May Mayweather her MCM at the time. Every Monday, she was on his jock. And I got a picture of the picture, a, a picture that she uploaded of him and showed him in front of her on her page. I was like, hey, yo, Floyd, check it out. <coughs> she makes you her MC Mary Monday. She's like, oh, my God, what the f***, Jay, dude? What the f***, what are you doing? It's a cat's voice. Yeah, and then <laughs> Floyd was like, no, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, yeah, right there, I was actually in Paris, and 
and and then he started talking to me about his rich scenarios yeah. like me i'm like i'm a f- peasant to you bro he was like did you know that uh that same weekend they didn't let me in the club with two hundred fifty thousand dollars cash sick what do you say yeah, to that dude, what do you say to that i I'm feel a, you i'm a peasant bro He's i would have like, told him i feel you yeah I, I know i was like <laughs> but of course me i you know i, I know how to you know say la corriente i was like Oh, that's you know, Floyd Champ. They were just hating on you, brother. You know, that's they were just hating on you, dog. Oh, sick. Like, you know what I mean? Like sick ass brown. No. You know what I mean? Egging them on. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the greatest of all time, way. I would no, never but do you that know what? to you. Yeah, I was, I was like, you just they were just hating on you, Champ. He's like, yeah, yeah. Fucked up. And then I just you know cut that short. I was like, all right, brother. Hey, man, if you need anything, let me know. I'll be rocking around. He's like, all right. But yeah, he shook my hand, and that handshake was enough to pay half my rent. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he tipped him, fool. Yeah, nah, that was the first that, time. I right. This is the first time I've no. this will ever stripped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it was crazy. That night I had on a, a g-string on backwards, so it was chilling to one side. It was very unique, unique, to say the least. <laughs> say the least. Nobody can say when they strip for these strips for Mayweather, dog. Nah, he's cool though, man. He's very. He's actually. Shout out to the champ. Yeah, she's actually not what he what he's like with the media in person. Absolutely not. I'm sure. Of course not. He's the best. Very chill. How did you two find gentlemen meet? Uh, I was, <laughs> and I was just telling you guys earlier. So the, it, this is I met him a week after I got all my shit stolen, right? So I was shooting a music video for Cheeky's, Frankie, Jay, and uh, Baby Bash, mm-hmm. and Baby Bash had reached out to Jay and another huge social media uh, star named Legend. So these guys came on the set, and it was him. It was it was Jay Valentino, Legend, was Legend and uh, Jacob Vargas. <laughs> He's doing this thing, right? <laughs> so I'm... That was a fail. I'm, yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you need to know popular culture, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're going to have a podcast full of no popular culture, okay? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, and Lame. Robbie Original is the best artist out there too, dude. Have so, heard of him? so these fools, <laughs> so these fools are like they have a scene, and then I was talking to them a little bit, and I was, you know, at this point I was already kind of like trying to get into the skit game, and uh, yeah, they didn't really pay attention to me because these fools had like, <laughs> don't <laughs> lie, bro. These fools had like mad followers. Fool, this was already like at 250k. The other fools like at more than half a million. And like a week later, I was trying to call those fools. I was like, hey, fool, let's do a skit, fool, let's do a skit. And then they ghosted me hard, fool. It was nothing. He's fucking around. And then, and then. He offered me free he, videos. He was like, I was like, yo, let me come and film for you, dog. That's God. And then he was like, yeah, oh, sure, come around, that's loser. <laughs> and then I shot some skits for him. And then we did one skit. And then, and then we really started working together after the Rebel skit. Yeah. That's what really like. Okay, I think we got something here. Yeah, that's when I started believing in him. I'd like mm-hmm. to hear your original version. Um, what do you mean? That is your original version. No, it's you're not. a liar, fool. We met there. I knew who he was already through the industry. He of had course, worked, yeah. He had worked with my older brother filming videos. I had heard about him like four years prior. Yeah. And I seen his work amazing. He did something out of nothing. That's what he was known for. Like, you know, he made these freaking five hundred dollar videos look like twenty thousand dollar videos. Facts. You know, and I knew about him, about his creativity and what he's done. And I was like, he's like, yeah, you're a, I, I work with your brother. I was like, oh, sh- oh, you're that kind of What's up, bro? I was happy to see him. And um, we shot that video. He's like, yeah, man, if you ever want to work on something, let's work together, though, like as a team. Don't pay me. Let's work as a team. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I remember that. I was like, all right, cool. But I'm not, I'm not, I've never, I've never been like that. So every time he'd come over, I'd break him off something. You know, he has a family. He works hard, super proactive. Anytime that I was getting ready or there was downtime, he'd always be doing B row and getting behind the scenes stuff. He's super proactive. And from there, uh, I started seeing him do his own videos, you know, fast forward some time. And I remember the, the last time, uh, the, the last time I called him on some video shit. No, he thought I called him on some video. One of the when the first time I collabed with him, he's like, "What's up, man? You want me to shoot you?" I was like, "Nah, bro, you're fuck, you're lit, bro. Let's get in the video, get in this video." He's like, "Oh, all right, cool." Mm-hmm. And we just started collabing on videos. But yeah. The one that that put the stamp on it was the Rebels, and that was in the chamber for like a year before I kind of believed in it. I'll be straightforward. My, I was I was one foot in, one foot out. He's yeah. Like, come on, fool, come on. And I've always thought like Pitbull, the rapper, like Mr. International. I want to do stuff for the masses. Blah blah blah. He's like, "Bro, that's cool, but." Let's do for stuff for your people that are actually following you, bro. The masses. Do yeah. shit for your people. I was like. Yeah, I just thought the right. rebel shit was like super nostalgic and nobody had really touched that shit. 
there was nothing on social media rebels. There was no no hard house pages. I don't remember seeing none of this. Like 90s. now, there's a, a a resurgence of like house party pages and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. but a community. When, but when we did it, I I didn't see nothing. Like there was nothing, not even close to it. At least it wasn't in my eyes, right? So I remember when we dropped the skit, dude. We did what? Eight hundred comments in like five minutes, dog. It Shit went crazy. Crazy. And then it was like boom. We started seeing people like popping up, doing <laughs> videos of them right. dancing, and you know, it just. It brought back an era that was essentially let dead in the water, bro. It was dead. It was it, obviously it's been dead for a long time, but <laughs> nobody was talking about it. It wasn't something that was in the forefront that were like people were even like thinking. It was just kind of because really it was. Kinda, I, I kind of felt like it was an era that people didn't want to bring back because it was kind of. That shit was active. It was like frowned no, like upon. But but like nah. nobody, but nobody was no, but nobody was posting their pictures of like their bangs their, and yeah, shit. Yeah, their you know? plucked eyebrows <laughs> and their bangs and stuff, you know, and puckered <laughs> lips and pictures. So it was who, an interesting era, though. Who came up with the concept? Khan. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what makes him a beast. I bro, wish he was what a thought about the concept. <laughs> yeah. That's tight. You're a smart guy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I right. I try to hit a lot of shit that's nostalgic. I don't do comedy. That like, and I've always said this, bro. I don't try to do trendy shit. I try to do shit that's real to me, that I think is funny, and that might strike, you know, somebody's memory, or that might, you know, bring some type of nostalgia to somebody and be like, oh man, I remember. That's why I do shit with my dad, and you know, he does stuff with his mom. But that's dope. We we you know for sure, and I'll say we because he's not as trendy either. You know what I'm saying? So we just try to do shit that's not trendy, so that. You're not gonna see the skit that I did in 50 other pages. Like, you know, I, I don't do the trendy skit. Like, if somebody's using an audio, I don't use that audio. That happens a lot in TikTok. You know, that, that and they recycle content a lot. That it's recycled TikTok's content, right. so mm -hmm. it's like I try to do my own. You know, I, I, I try mm -hmm. to do shit that's just, you know, that's real to me, and we know what's funny, bro. And if, you know, obviously I've made fun of a lot of people. You know, I've made fun of hundreds of, of not hundreds, but a ton <laughs> of fucking people. You know, and. You know, it's it's worked out. A lot of these people have became friends of mine now, you know, because I made fun of them. But I always see it like if I make fun of you, it's because you're relevant and you mean something to me and to the world. And if and if I'm not making fun of you, then it's a problem, you know? Damn. That's pretty deep. What was your first viral moment, Jay? Mine was La Chona. <laughs> I translated La Chona. Oh, Spanish. I remember that one. That one went viral. <laughs> I remember yeah. that too. Yeah, it went crazy. And um, yeah, I didn't know what it was going to do. It's I had just found my green screen niche. I started with the green screen a lot and uh, I went on a bike ride and I smoked a little bit, went on a bike ride and it was just a high idea. I rode it while I was riding my bike and I came home. I just laid it out. I set up my green screen. I edited it after I do I recorded. I did it all in, in one day in eight hours. And I slapped so the next day. I posted it at the right time. And well, boom, so it was out of here. It was out of here. It was crazy. What was your first viral moment, sir, as a as a skit? Was it the artist? R. Kelly? My first viral was R. Kelly skit. That was hard. That was it, that was like my first viral viral hit, and it was that, that was like I was like twenty skits in at that point. <laughs> I was just starting, and then that's the one. I, I remember it was a it was a skit where he uh, it, it was a video where he's doing the interview and he gets up and he's like, "Come on, man!" Oh, he's that one? I thought it was uh, the. What nah. In my home? Oh, nah, nah, nah. It was it was the one where he gets up in the interview and he's screaming at the camera people, and yeah. I made it seem like if I was yeah. one of the cameramen. Yeah. And then that shit got like, you know, that was my first skit where I seen. It wasn't just like Hispanics commenting. It, it was, was crazy. It was black people, white people. It was people, everybody. Asian. It was it, 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 it was broad. It expanded the boundaries. It expanded the yeah. boundaries of just you know uh, what I was trying to reach. You know what I'm saying? Which is my community. You know. And then that's <laughs> when I was like, okay, cool. Like we, I think, I think I got something here, you know. And then after that, it was, it could have been that one too. And then I had one where I had gone in Compton Menace, where the cops roll up and I have a gun on me, and we all have guns. That one went. That's the oh, one. Oh that yeah, that one was. That's the one that George Lopez reposted, and that's the one that made him hit me up. And he's like, yo, man, I see you, bro. And you know, what I'm saying, keep going. Yeah. Your shit's funny, and so that was cool, you know. That's tight. Yeah. And so when did you guys yeah. decide to start doing the comedy? stuff like on the road mm, i think the pull-up tour party set that up right yeah it was a pull-up tour we 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 set out to do a documentary or a mockumentary of <laughs> us going on tour and truthfully bro i'll be honest i set up the documentary knowing that we were gonna fail um i thought that it'd be really funny to catch to record us going to meet and greets and knowing that nobody was gonna show up 
<laughs> and I didn't tell him and I didn't tell the crew. I just felt that I had to keep it as organic as possible. When I knew that my fan base wasn't there yet to be able to do that, to go and do a meet and greet. Mm -hmm. But I figured, I was like, I think it'd be funny to show the side of people, of artists trying to make it and how it really is. Because nobody shows the meet and greet where only two people show up. So did you have like flyers and the whole, it was the whole shebang? We made it seem like yeah. it was a real tour. Well, you made it seem because he wasn't in on it. He wasn't in on it. He didn't really. He didn't. Really I, know. I didn't find out till right now. Full community. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't really know. All kinds of exclusive stuff. We'll uh, send you an well, Dick, come on. <laughs> I mean, dude, I literally booked one of the meet and greets at a cell phone spot next to a cemetery. <laughs> 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 Did you not catch on after that, dude? I was no. just doing the most bizarre. I was like, Con, you, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I was like, Con. We have Google Maps, bro, because we were all like, we 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 actually we, we bumped heads on the on the road. We did, like not like physically, like our bottom, like our bottom heads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, we bumped heads, and um, I was like, "Come, bro, we have Google Maps, dog. Why don't yeah. you look at the Google Maps? Like it shows you the images of, bro. It's 2022. I saw time. it. I knew it, and I was like, "This is fantastic. <laughs> this is so good." It was a cell phone shop. So basically, the cell phone shop, the owners. When they were, you know, what city? This oh was. Oh my god! Uh, this was. It in, was a wackest city in Texas. Bro. I don't want to say the wackest oh, city. Oh, you were in Texas. It, it, it's it's not a wack city, in bro. June, dog. No, I love Dying. Odessa. I love Odessa, bro. It was Odessa, Texas. They, I have a bunch of fans now in Odessa, Texas. So it was, it was, but it was the most bizarre place to do a, a meet and greet because it was when I saw it, I was like cell phone shop. And then there's a fucking, there's a cemetery right next to it. So the the cell phone shot sits sits you on a cemetery. On drinks? I'm okay. Coco. Yeah, it sits on a cemetery. Coco. And then. Um, and then so, you know, we have a budget. I'm literally making everybody's life miserable in a way. <laughs> um. Oh shit. And. Thanks, bud. I mean, dude, we have great footage from it, though. We have fantastic footage. So you really didn't even know. You're not capping, <clears throat> Jay. This is an organic reaction right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Good asshole. laughs> I mean, I mean, I always, now, I always it, figured that some people might show up, but I didn't, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it wasn't gonna go crazy. Shut down the fucking mall. No, because we weren't there yet. I don't even think we're there now. Like, Shoddy Bay. Like, we're not Shoddy Bay, dog. Shoddy nah, Bay is like closing we'll, down. We'll get a cool little crab. Now. No, yeah, I mean, obviously, be like now we're selling out shows and we're doing all that, but no, this was 2021. This is two years ago, exactly to the date. For we're in July, so it's two years to the date, and uh, it, just, <laughs> it was a disaster, dog. So it was so disaster. I want to punch you in your ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I, honestly, I'm thinking. Yeah, this, go ahead. Que te, que te el menso. When I was like, bro, Google Maps. <laughs> you know, like, and I, remember, I, I can vividly remember your face now like knowing like yeah who i know like i'm not dumb i had one of the homies set up a tent down the street from this restaurant called rollies and then you set that up too <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> keep going with the story now I had the homie set up a tent down the street from Rollies, and he was like, yo, where do you want to set up this tent? And I was like, fool, just set it up in the most awkward place you can find. So I was in the middle of, a like, an empty lot, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and the heat, bro, like, you know. She was like 110, At first, dog, I was like, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, he's like. No, it was, no, no, it was, uh, 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 that was, uh, that was Tucson. He's like, you're going to act like you're bothered. <laughs> Like two, uh, three days in, I was really bothered. <laughs> he was really bothered. <laughs> and then uh, the AC went out on the RV no. halfway, halfway. And there's ten guys in there for you know in the RV and the the RV is really fit for like six. six. And so we're you know so we're going across the country, man. You know, um, I YouTube it two days later. You know what it was? Yeah. A switch. It was a a switch. That you mm -hmm. re refresh. That's it. I did that too. <laughs> it was. Nah, that's cap. Did you? <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> I was gonna ask you that right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you Why well, I think I'm so mad that the footage didn't work out, fool? Because 
It was the perfect. <laughs> it was the most. It's it's the longest prank I ever had to pull, and uh, yeah, it upsets me for that. How come the footage didn't drop? Jay wasn't f***ing with it? No, no. We recorded a lot of shit that was, that that he knew about that we were going to do. Like, we had a dope-ass uh, Native American ritual. Remember that, dude? Yeah, that was awesome. And it was, it was because, you know, like, we shot it, like, in according like according to, like, how a movie would play out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, unfortunately, it happens on the road. And, you know, the cameras weren't recording. There was no audio. So then we lost that. <laughs> and then we actually went and shot with Emilio Rivera in the middle of him shooting Flaming Hot nice. in Albuquerque. So we went from Tucson to Albuquerque. And then we shot his parts. And then the audio went out. We didn't know. We, like, we didn't. I, a lot of that shit that happened, fool, I didn't know what was happening. Like, it, it, that was genuine. That was really going bad, you know? Uh, so yeah, it was just it was a mess, dog. But honestly, dude, like it, it, if it wasn't for that, I don't think it builds the camaraderie between me and him. <laughs> you fools shouldn't even be friends right now. We shouldn't, <laughs> fool. but we, but yeah, it, but but it definitely did build a little bit of callus for, for us to be like, all right, now we know what to do on tour. We know how to maneuver. We know how to get shit done. You know? Yeah, everything straightened. It strengthened everything. It's yeah, it strengthened a lot of shit, bro. So when you go on the road with people, for when you get to learn people, you get to really know. Them. Oh, absolutely. Like, you want to know somebody, live with them. Like now, I know this for like I know with him, like you know, we gotta get him his own room type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he wants his space. You know, he wants to eat healthy. So, you know, we try to, we all try to coexist when we're on tour and everybody's happy. Because when when you're moving with four, five, six, seven people on tour, bro, like. At one point, food like foods are gonna get upset for whatever reason, you know. So, that's what's just... eating healthy to him, and what's eating healthy to you? I like, what's eating healthy? I like egg whites and shit, and, and turkey bacon. Yeah. And you? And anything? I don't think there's. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I eat. I don't think I eat healthy I, oh, for the not, most he, part. He's not a big breakfast breakfast guy. Like there's, we're like you know, mm. you know, we're different. Everybody's different, but he's not a big breakfast. He'll wait like three hours before he eats. Breakfast. Like I'll I wake eat, up hungry like, the first five minutes. I'll drink the coffee from the hotel in my room. He wants to go to Starbucks. I like it. You know, I'll drink the one that's made in the like in my room, like the little cafetera <laughs> that they give you and shit. You know, I'll I got drink one that word one. for that. Yuck. Poor. Poor. Cheapskate. Wow. What are those? A quarter a cup? <laughs> I just can't find myself paying eight dollars for a cup, bro. I'm sorry. Six seventy five. Calm down. Nah. Then you have to leave a tip. <laughs> what? I don't know. I wouldn't leave a tip for coffee. Same. So no, I never do. I I use the app, so I don't tip. So it doesn't look bad. Sometimes I wonder what they think when I push no tip. You're a dick. <laughs> nah, but sometimes fool, it's crazy fool. Like they be asking, like there's some places where you're like, ah, no mamas, you want a tip for that? <laughs> yeah. Because like right now, like Michoacanas want a tip. You can go everywhere. Even just when they hand you an ice cream. And now it's like, hey, do you want to round up? Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody's asking for a roundup right now, yeah, dog. It's or, everybody's asking for a tip or a roundup, and I'm like, yo, you guys are, oh, I'm bleeding, dog. Stop the bleeding, dog. Everywhere I go, <laughs> but, stop but I heard the that, bleeding. That, that roundup is is a crazy figure at the end of the year. Well, I, bro. I, remember I told you, I said, bro, if every Taco Bell in in the country is rounding up seventy five cents, fifty cents, dog. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. three hundred transactions, bro. You're yeah. talking millions, millions mm. of dollars, bro, bro, in a month. Help me out. I'm trying to help my keep the change. I'm about round to tell up. the homies, hey, round it up, perro. You guys want to round up this interview for or what? <laughs> <laughs> Por fam. Round up this interview, dog. That's crazy. Por gasolina. Tell me a crazy story that you guys have encountered on the road together. Mm. Aside from the fucking pranks. Oh, aside from, from the pranks. A horror pool? story. I don't mean like a horror story. I mean like a horror story. Or a horror story. That's fine. What's He's married. Um, Spence, huh? <laughs> we're, trying, we're trying to think of concerts and comedy shows, um, mm. DJ gigs, concerts. Tell me your worst experience as a DJ, Jay. Worst experience as a DJ. It could uh, have been anything. I was DJing on top of a shipping container two days ago. <laughs> No, that that's fucked up. Well, they, no, had that's this, they had this full looking like a lifeguard <laughs> dog. <laughs> no, it looked cool. I had the skyscrapers behind me. It was for a, a bully show, but it, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> but the worst. You were there? You know how you're requesting a song like this? Hey, fool! <laughs> let me get. <laughs> it, probably had to be a, 
It probably had to be like a Victorville club or something. Nah. A city that, like, you know, that's <laughs> out. Why you got to keep putting down cities? And, no, and, the, and the outskirts. You know, and nothing wrong with Victorville, but it was just a city in the outskirts that wasn't there yet. A club that wasn't <laughs> there yet. And I felt bad because I charged what I charge, and there was not that lot of people at the club. You mm-hmm. know? And that's it. It, was, it wasn't a, a nightmare. It was just... I drove a couple of hours, and I felt more bad for them than anything. No one's ever spilled a drink on your DJ equipment, and it shorts out, and then you take off on the, like, come yeah, on. Yeah, that's happened before. Yeah, that's happened before. Um, it never, it never shut down the music, though. It never shut down the music. What are some pet peeves, uh, as a DJ? As a DJ, um, a good one, sir. I'm not that DJ that that has that the no request stickers on the on the laptop. Do I handle it well? You know, a lot of DJs hate that, but I think it's probably just you know, just a lot of this. At first, I'll be cool. Uh. I'm super cool. I'm super nice. You know, <laughs> I, I talk to them and be like, "Yo, what's up? What's that? Yeah, I, I'll, I got that song. I'll play it. You know, if it's in rotation, yeah, I got it. Cool." But if you know, there's old people that kind of keep going and going. I try not to be the bad guy though. I'll get a security. I'm that mm. guy. I'll get a security. That's I'm very like, hey, nice. Brother. Hey, brother, can you uh, can you take care of that? Yeah, I'll take care of that. You know? <laughs> It's nine, fool. I don't want to play fucking Volver, Volver right now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Playing fucking sad ass music. That was already coked out and shut yeah. up his mind. Yeah. Tell me a horror story for you. A horror story? Of what? Like, in what? In what? In what, like, in what genre of life you've been in? And what genre of life? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Music video shoot, <laughs> rapping. Yeah, let's do a music video. Music video? Well, besides me getting all my shit stolen. Uh, that's the horror story of my life. I'll tell you that one, fool. Like, I mean, I know we. Uh, nah, tell me, I, I, tell me a new one. Tell me a new one. Already. Tell me a different one. I've said a bunch of interviews already, dog. Tell um, me a new one. It was only fifty thousand worth of stuff. Tell me a new one. Tell me <laughs> that one's new. not worth it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've interviewed this for like five times. I heard well, that I shit get, already. I guess the worst that has ever like, like me and my homie almost getting down. I'm shooting a music video in uh in Sweden. <laughs> and that true story, bro. I had never, I had never been to Sweden. I, I've been to Europe, but I had never gone that far north. And <clears throat> so I didn't understand the concept of twenty-hour days and four-hour nights, mm. right? And come to find out, Sweden has a high rate of suicides because of the time change. Right? When it's winter, it's four-hour days and t- and uh, no, yeah, four-hour days and twenty-hour nights. So to go to work, c- go to work, get out, and they will never see the sun. Right? And me and my homie were going at it, bro, because we, we couldn't sleep. Like, it was, what was it? It was midnight, and the sun was already coming back out. <laughs> so we're just fucking going through it, dog. And we ended up staying at a at a hostel. Um, so <clears throat> imagine having to take showers where um, there's no privacy, bro. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we didn't, you know, we didn't know. Again, it was I had never booked shit like that, like that far. So I thought, you know, I had seen it in movies. I was like, hostels? I was like, oh, that looks cool, dog. Like, you just get to room with a bunch of people. I was like, I was like, oh, that'll be cool. And it was yeah, like, just end up on the dark web. And I was good. trying to like, you know, they gave me a budget. And it was kind of like, hey, shoot the video and whatever you have left over, keep it. So I was just trying to be like. Keep it. I was trying to keep it, dog, you know. So me and my boy, big boy, man, we ended up bumping heads for like seven days straight, dog. And I actually got a speeding ticket a there. Biggie? I got a speeding ticket. I parked the car in a no parking zone. So it got towed. And in Sweden. In Sweden. And <laughs> so I thought I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna pay the I'm not gonna pay the speeding ticket and I'm not gonna pay the parking ticket. But I went to go get the car, right? And then so I get to the airport and I'm checking in through uh their TSA. And immediately guards come to me. They're like, Yeah, hey, you gotta go, you gotta go to the office. And I was like, What the fuck? And I'm thinking, I was like, Man, do I have any weed on me? Did I bring anything on me? I was like, oh, I don't think so. And I go back and they're like, You can't leave the country until you pay these tickets and it was like a thousand like a thousand like it, it was equivalent to a thousand u.s dollars is that your bro. profit nah i still had some left over but i was like fuck dog like it's a thousand you you know what i'm saying Damn. but you know it, it was it was scary because i don't like you know i don't know the language where they got people talking to me and you know in their language and then trying to like translate and shit so i was like and, you know they put you in this little ass room with cameras and i was like fuck, dude like don't tell me i'm about to get locked up abroad fool like that's the worst you know not knowing the language not knowing where the f- man not not knowing how the law works you know if, if i can get a lawyer or nothing you know so the dude comes in and he's like all you gotta pay is just the tickets right now and then you can get out of here and you know put you on the plane i was like cool man i took out the credit card i was like here dog take it i'm 
out of here, bro. And Big I, boy didn't go half with you on the tickets? Nah, it wasn't his responsibility. Nah, but I did get the ticket because of him because he wanted Pizza Hut. He wanted the bunch of lunch at Pizza Hut or something like that. And then so he wanted the buffet at Pizza Hut. And then so I parked, but I didn't know because I couldn't read the signs, Dick. You know, I didn't know the language. <laughs> so I saw cars parked there, but I didn't know that you had to have a permit, you know, to park there. It was in downtown Stockholm. So it was like their downtown LA type of shit. That's crazy. That's one. I have millions of fucking stories, dog, of bad shit happening on sets. Bad. Talk to me about your guys' current tour that you're on. Los Toxicos, man. Now you're talking. That's a good question. Jeez, I was waiting Finally. for this shit. Finally. You get a question that matters. Yeah, shit. It's something <laughs> current. Uh, so Los Toxic goes, man, yeah, dude, we started doing this about, I want to say last year, bro. It's myself, Jay Valentino, Jesus Sepulveda, Jerry Garcia. And, uh, <clears throat> man, it's been fun, dog. It's been, it's, you know. Was we, Jay doing de DJing? Nah, he's, he's, he's I'm stand I'm being a dick, I know. It's okay, you are what you eat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> big dick. Yes. And, uh, yeah, man, so it's been fun, dude. And, you know, we just we just sold out um, Ron Casino last week on Friday. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, Thanks for coming out, guys. You know, we've been signing Let's almost go. every show that we do, man. You know, so it's been dope, man. And hopefully it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. Like, you know, we're getting a lot more calls. And, you know, hopefully we uh, we can do this shit for, like, another year and see what's up, you know? What are the current tour dates that you have ahead of us? Uh, let me take it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a lot, man. I got uh, Me and him got a show in San Diego July 6th at the American Comedy Company in That's San Diego at the, last, at the Gas Lab. I go to Albuquerque on the 8th. Uh, then we have a bunch of shows coming up. Do you uh, guys do good? Like you guys are funny and shit? Absolutely, dude. We deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like deliver. deliver. We got Salinas on the 28th, Merced, August 4th, San Fernando, August 17th, Albuquerque, August 18th again. We got Las Cruces, August 19th, August 20th, El Paso. Um, and then August 2nd, August 2nd, 3rd. August 2nd, I'm in Houston. August 4th, August 3rd, I'm in Arlington. August fifth, we're in. Uh, I think. Uh, no, I, I forgot where the f August fifth. Um, yeah, but we got man a bunch of shows coming up, bro. So I'll I'll be posting them. I'm sure he'll be posting them too. So when you guys are doing these shows and stuff like that, what's the order you guys perform in? Um, lately, I've been biting the bullet, which is going first. That's a term, a comedy term. No, absolutely. And uh, at first, it was Khan doing that and hosting, mm -hmm. but. I have uh, I I'm doing that to kind of put myself through it to uh, make me stronger, bro. I absolutely feel it. Stronger, you know what I mean? And I've been <clears> doing that at, at other comedy shows, just these little workout rooms that I've been going to. Mm -hmm. I've been going first, biting the bullet and hosting. And it's been helping a lot, man. Because as you're hosting, you're also getting jokes off in between 100 um, percent performers as well 100 mm. percent um i try to stay away from crowd work i don't do that much crowd work but every now and then you know people yell shit out uh tiktok made that popular because everybody's all oh being a heckler is cool now mm. yeah i don't know about that it's a it's an easy way to go viral it's an uh yeah it's, well and it's the, the, the only I mean, way but, to go viral but but uh, but, but in 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 in, def in somewhat of defense of the people right the reason why they're the reason why crowd work is 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 being posted is because most comedians don't want to post their actual sets, yep. ah. right? So then they have to post crowd work because then if you post your set, bro, then That's what are you, what are you gonna yeah. do when you go out there, right? Mm. So you're forced to post because to you're post. gonna use that content again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's it, your set. Yeah, right, so, right, you're, right. so you're in a way forced to post crowd work in order to get the people to be like, oh, he's funny. And then they come to your show, and then when it comes to your show, you do your set. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever gone through something where it backfired on you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was my first. So I did. So my first two shows, I bombed them completely. Bombed them. I it was at this point, I didn't want to do comedy. I didn't want to do stand up comedy. I pe 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 like people kept telling me do stand up comedy, do stand up comedy. Just go ahead and do it. You're funny. And I was like, I, I I in my heart, I'm like, yo, I am a comedic actor. I'm not a stand up comedian, and I and I wanted to live by that, right? And so, you know, a bunch of comedians were like, "Yo, you you really need to do stand up, dog. Like, this is you know, like it's a you know, it's a it's a it's a it's the way of the you know, it's like a passage kind of type of deal. You know, you have to do this. Right. So I did Vegas for my first event, and I, it was like a community event. And I went up there, and you know, you got uh, the you know, you got Andy Ruiz, you got the Gypsy King there, you got a bunch of boxers, a bunch of famous people are there. It's like a day event. 
and I'm bombing, dog. Complete are you are bombing. You, are you, are you just hitting? missing on every joke? Every joke is missing. Say. People are getting up. They're walking away. They're starting to talk amongst each other. I did a wheelchair joke. Do you, do you talk to yourself? Like, as this happening, are you talking to yourself like, damn? Like, Well, I didn't notice it. <laughs> uh. See, I was so confident. How do you not notice people not laughing at you? Well, because in my head, I'm like, well, some people are laughing, but not everybody. So I see. I can't hear if people are laughing or not. I'm just going. No, you're, you're no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah, flowing, yeah. I, you know? And then so I didn't really know that I had bombed that bad until I got off. <laughs> and people were coming up yeah. to me like, people were like, don't hey, man, be good. hey, man, don't worry, man. You lose some, you win some. You I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? And then, and then somebody else came up. They were like, hey, man, just keep pushing, brother. You're going to be all right. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, what's going on with the <laughs> just talking about? I was like, I thought I did great. And then my girl was like. You know, she's like, babe, it's Vegas. We're in Vegas. We're going to have a good time tonight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nikki was there. Yeah, Nikki, she was there. <laughs> Nikki saw this. Yes. That's well, a stamp. And she was like, babe, we're in Vegas. We're going to have a good time tonight, okay? And I was like, she's like, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll tell you yeah, for a fact, she was I like, know. She's like, you sucked. And I was like, fuck. I said, all right, bet. <laughs> and then I got back. <laughs> I got back. <laughs> he still my, couldn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> and my boy Jerry Garcia hit me up. And he's like, yo, man. I you know, heard. Come and do Levity Live with me in Oxnard. And I was like, yeah, I'm ready, dog. I, I've been writing shit. I was like, this shit got to hit. Uh -huh. And at this point, I was already doing little clubs. I, I wasn't telling people. I was just kind of doing it on my own, just going, like, you know, open micers and shit here and there. And I was just trying out material. People were laughing. So I figured, I was like, okay, cool. I got a good solid five, ten minutes. He was like, just host it, bro. Don't feel obligated to do jokes. Just be yourself. Go out there and talk to the crowd. Don't, you know, you don't have to do none of the jokes. And on my way up there, I had like a 40 minute drive. So I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm come up with a new joke. Yeah. And in my head, I came up with a new joke on the way there. And I did one of the most cardinal sins in stand-up comedy, which is never open up with a new joke. Mm. Mm. So I opened up, I'm like, go out there and I'm like, yo, what's up, concrete? Yeah, what's up, guys? Thank you for having me with you. And I go into this brand new joke that I have never done. And you could hear the silence, bro. And one dude, he's like maybe a row, like maybe one or two rows right there. And he was like, is this supposed to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> and let yeah. me tell you, bro, like the f cook and the waiters heard this shit in the back, bro. That's how loud it was. And then for some reason, what happens is that when somebody says something, boom, it, boom, gives, boom, boom, boom. it gives other people the chance. Mm, yeah, right? Yeah, so then yeah. some other fool was like, yeah, what the f uh -huh. And then some other fool was like, yeah, come on, let's go. And then it just, it got a little crazy. And I went into like, I went into concert hosting mode. I was like, all right, man, who, who's here to have a good time? Make some noise. Woo. And I was like, where are, where are my ladies at? Woo. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. coming up to the stage next, right now. And then I introduced the next, and I got the fuck off. Mm. And I had to come back up four more times to introduce other Cause guys. Because he's hosting. Because I'm hosting. Oh. But that makes you stronger. So I'm like, fuck, and I go back to him. Jerry's like, calm down. You're going to be all right. I was like, no, nah, I fucking bombed, dog. I want to leave. He's like, dude, just calm down. Just settle down. Look, go back out there right now. Do the jokes that we talked about. <laughs> do the jokes that, you, that, that, we, that, that you've written. Don't go up to China. What the f*** is that? Like, what, what the f*** is a shoe joke? What, what is this? He's like, my bad. I just wrote that shit on the way up here. He was like, stupid. Don't ever do that again. So I go back out there, and then I, I do a joke, and now I got the crowd on my side now. I got him back, you know, and then I ended up, I ended up, I mean, I ended up doing pretty well that night, but <clears throat> not the greatest, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that shit yeah. taught me a lot, bro. It strengthens, yeah, it gives you. It strengthens you, fool, for sure, bro. Do you have and any vicious flop stories like that? Hell yeah. Yeah. Last week. What's the, what's the <laughs> worst, what's the worst heckle you've ever received? I don't remember the the worst heckle because I get it, uh, you know, I'm I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it anymore, but you know, you get into your own head, you know, just mm -hmm. like anybody else has a creative um yeah like two weeks ago i did a, a small room and i hosted and the first time i went up crickets you know but i could say that i kept my composure which is very important Absolutely. there's a lot of polished comedians when they try new jokes they don't hit but they keep their composure super keep calm, it moving keep it moving the 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 silence doesn't phase them and that's one of the number one things as a comic you can't be scared of the silence you know, a lot of comics freak out of the silence, and I'm, you know, I was one of them, and I'm still. Yeah, learning. you just gotta work through the shit, though. Work through it. Not, you know, they're not not laughing; they're paying attention. Yeah, they're paying attention, and half of the time, bro, like you know, you think that they're not laughing or whatever, but you know, you know, for, I mean, for one, they're paying attention, and for two, like, 
they don't know when something's gone wrong. They don't know your shit. Yeah, they have no idea. So they have no idea if that was a punchline or it wasn't. So just yeah. keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, hopefully, if you have a good joke, it'll it'll, it'll slap. It'll change the game yeah. for you, and it'll change the night. You know? Yeah. And I'm not I'm not drinking before my sets anymore. So that's it's another little obstacle that I'm, you know, overcoming. Doing what? it sober. Why did you decide to do it sober? Uh, I'm gonna be 41 in a couple of weeks. I. I don't want to. Congrats, you don't look 41. Thank you, man. I drink a lot of water, mind my own business, and penetrate young vaginal canals. <laughs> That's right. I want to do this till I'm 60. Absolutely. What am I going to do? Drink till I'm 60? Every time before I go on stage and I'm like that. I'm selling out tours and I'm and I'm on I'm on the road and I'm doing 50 shows a, a year. I can't. I can't. The body's the body. The body's an avatar. You know, that's the only t- shit we have. Got to take care of this. Why are you? Acting like this while the homie's saying it's because I get I pound phone. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was I, and I don't and I don't knock anybody. I don't, I'm not sitting here. I'm like cool, all right. Whatever. I'm not sitting here. I'm knocking anybody. I know, he knows that. I don't judge at all. No, you know? I mean, dude, I, I do crack now, do the, but that's not as I bad. I do the dude. Bad. No, no, I do the just. I take a I take a shot. He knows. I take a shot and then I drink a beer. That's it. Yeah, and it's but every you know once again it's to, that's it to each their own and you know I know dudes that smoke. I you know, take a quick hit of a joint and that's it. You know. I, I don't like to smoke weed because then I get all, it's, you know, like I get out fucking <laughs> headspace. You know? yeah, so you exactly. fucking sit there like, yeah, what was I saying and shit? Like, I'll get like that. So I don't smoke weed. I just take a cool little shot, just take off the edge. Yamonos, you know, I don't get like blitz and shit face, you know, yeah. nothing like that. And man. I've done this before. I did four and a half years with no alcohol. It sounds like jail, huh? I did four and a half years, dog. You know? <laughs> well, yeah, you were in a prison. Oh, in an alcoholic <laughs> prison. <laughs> That's nasty. Damn, I like how you really feel. Uh, you were full. Yeah, bro. So yeah, it's a, it's been a challenge, but I, I like that, man. It's making me stronger as a person, and it's been working for me. I'm a lot sharper, I think. And I've had my best set sober, so that that told me everything. That's amazing. Where's one of your guys' favorite towns to perform? San Diego. Not because the show's coming up, but it's a good vibe. I like it. So far, it's yeah. been. Vaseli was super dope. Vaseli was dope. Vaseli was really dope. Vaseli is super dope. Yeah, we're locking in Bakersfield right now. Bakersfield, I think, I think Bakersfield, show. Bakersfield, like they just, they just, they love. just love. Yeah, love. they show a lot of love. A lot of love. Um, it's usually when you're not at home, you know. Like mm-hmm. it's usually where people don't get to see you. Like in LA, they get to see us here a lot. I'm always around. I'm always at events, so you know people get to see us a lot. But it's usually when it's other, you know, other cities that are at least a hundred miles away, or, or you know, something like that, where we get a lot of love, you know. Right. But every city that we've booked has been amazing because they come out to see Los Toxicos. They come out to see. They us. come out to see us, you know. So we've been in a way spoiled, but. Like I say, man, we've 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 built the fan base through our social media, and th- that's why they come to see us because we've built a, a fan base through our social media. And Jerry and Jesus, they you know they got specials on HBO, and Netflix, so they come with that experience, you know. Mm-hmm. And we come with the experience of social media, so it's kind of like two it's worlds. It's yeah. two worlds colliding. Help each other. It's two worlds that help each okay. other, you know. So it, it, it works, bro. Is there anything you guys want to leave the people with before we clock out? Nah, man, keep supporting the food community. Keep supporting the podcast, man. Give them like, share it, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. Hopefully stuff. you yeah. share it, pal. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, if the quality's good, then the cool, quality's man. good for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at these cameras, man, they look yeah. a little outdated. They look yeah. Sony A7S, that's so 2015. Wow. Oh, I'll, wow. I'll repost it. I got you, though, bro. <laughs> so is that 1080 at least? Is that a 1080? Is that 1080? Yeah, I remember those. I remember those. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> <laughs> Support the food community. And, uh, man, these are hardworking people right Did here. Did I just do the whole side? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But we got the Rebels coming up next. Yep. Are we doing it? For, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's a Let's rap. go home. This has been another episode of the Fukumi Podcast. We got the legendary Concrete, the incomparable Jay Valentino. We got the homie Rich Homie Juan right there. We got the homie Chris Sour Apple. And you already know me, buckaroos. We're out. These fools.